Hi, we're here at the Kiyuchi Brewery in uh, Ibaraki. We're about to go and brew our own beer. What we're going to do is brew beer in their equipment with their ingredients. We're going to get about 15 liters each, and they're going to deliver it to our houses with labels that we made up. It should be a lot of fun. Sweet stout. Sweet stout. You can change the percentage of alcohol. All right, we tried all of these beers here. We've got the uh, pale ale, the sweet stout, the white ale, and uh, the uh, the amber ale. And uh, we found that the one that had the most flavor, the most tang to it, maybe a little bit of bitterness that we we like from the hops, uh, was the amber ale. So that's what we're gonna go with. We're gonna make. Uh, we're gonna start with this as a base, and maybe just add some stuff to it, or maybe increase the alcohol content to about eight percent. We're gonna bring the bitterness up to uh, about fifty. I, the IBUs. It's a bitterness measurement. Don't worry about it. It's delicious. It's gonna be good. But uh, now we're gonna smell the hops. Oh, here they come. Who says you can't buy hoppiness? These are hops pellets. They take the, uh, the hops and they grind them down. And then uh, what they do is uh, they dissolve in water, or they don't dissolve, but they come apart and, and, and branch out like tea. It, we're brewing hops like tea, kind of, sort of. Tea is a bad metaphor. Let's drink beer. Wow, that's an interesting one. Okay. All right, so we, we decided on uh, Cascade and Pearl hops. Um, pearls are the bitter, uh, and then the, the cascade is what we're adding for aromatics. Um, we basically just smelled a bunch of different hops and picked the ones that we liked the most. Not a lot of science involved. Right now we're, we're measuring out the, the malts that we need to make the beer. We're going to put them all together and uh, boil them for a long time so that they make malts. the sound of this machine taking all of our malts and turning them into oatmeal powder it's it's they're they're it's um grinding up the uh the grains so that they're ready to be boiled and then what we're going to do with that we're just going to boil all of these grains for a long time until they uh until they become syrup that can be uh until we extract all the sugars from them and those sugars are going to be fermented by the yeast and that's where the beer comes from. Right now it's really uh, thick. We poured all this into all this water. Uh, it's thick like, like oatmeal. It's just trying to absorb all of this stuff right now and I'm supposed to mix it until it's smooth and we're just gonna boil it until these grains just give up all of their goodness, and then we're gonna take them out. Um, so we're in the process of converting this to sugar. We, we're trying to get the, the overall temperature to 63 degrees, and then we're gonna go back to the getting water from the bottom and pouring it back up onto the top. It's kind of just a, the tedium of, of the beer making now, but you know, beer dulls the pain. So we are midway through uh, the process. We're actually waiting for about a half hour for boiling. Uh, then we're going to add some hops and everything at this point. Uh, so far, though, we've, we've done a lot. We picked out our hops, our, our malts. We decide what we're going to start with and, and what we're going to uh, add. 
and um, now it's just a process of boiling the uh, grains until we extract the sugars from them. So this is my uh, mid-brewing brew. Good stuff. The Kyochi Brewery is about a lot more than just beer. They've got, behind me, they've got sake, they've got uh, umeshu, they've got shochu, all kinds of, they are about alcohol. That's what they're really about. All kinds, though. Uh, all kinds of Japanese alcohols. They, they on this premises, you can buy, uh, there's a shop, you can, there's a bar, there's even a restaurant where they can serve you while you're brewing beer. It's wonderful. You do this so the beer will so now, uh, pouring the water on top of here, we're washing off the grains. There's some sugar still in there. We're trying to get them not in there anymore. And then uh, we're, we have to keep the grains submerged because what we've done is we've brought up uh, the, the heat to a level that no bacteria could survive in. And then uh, now we're, we're uh, trying to maintain that uh, by putting hot water on top and keeping new bacteria from joining in. Yeah, uh, delicious mix. Ow, okay, it's hot. This is our more clarified version of it. We just went through a long process, clarified it. It's uh, right now it's like really sweet barley tea. It's kind of mm, so good. It's like breakfast oatmeal. Hmm? grains are spent. Um, we've boiled all the goodness out of them. Well, not all. Because the remains are going to be used to feed livestock. See, we use every part of the animal. One of the cool things about brewing here is not only do you get to customize your beer, but you get to create your own label. Um, we've got a few here. There's a, an original stout and uh, an, an original beer. I saw one earlier that said, thanks daddy beer, so, for special occasions. We designed our own. What happens uh, is it takes about six weeks for the beer to be completed, and once that's completed, they ship the labels, uh, which they print, even if you design your own, and the, uh, the beer directly to your house. It's really cool. I feel like an apothecary. After we measured out the hops, we put them in the boil at different times according to the recipe that they gave us. Hops number one, pearl hops. You have this so I don't burn myself on the steam. Yeah. Fortunately, we let them handle all the tough stuff like fermentation and storage and keeping bacteria away from the beer. No, I'm, I'm, a very, I'm actually a very good artist. Yeah, we had a great time. It's definitely worth the time and money it took to come out here. If you like beer at all or just want to do something fun in Japan, it's completely worth it. So grab a friend who speaks Japanese because they don't speak English. We measured the grains, we milled them, we boiled them. We added all the ingredients together in a pot and heated them up until we finally and triumphantly made beer.